I'm travelling by train from Scotland to Barrow in Furness, where I'll be staying overnight before picking up a car and driving home tomorrow. As you can see, it's a glorious day, and it would be a crime not to break my journey here and try for a return trip on Lal Ratty, the Ravenglass and Eskdale Railway. Unfortunately, it's the penultimate day of the summer timetable, the last week of the school holidays. The car park is heaving, and the only return ticket available is for a train too late to enable me to get to Barrow in time for a prearranged dinner. I am travelling light, but do have the drone with me. There's nothing left but to try to capture something of the exquisite local scenery. Ravenglass is situated where the River Esk, flowing in from the south, meets the River Ert from the north and the Mite from the east to form an impressive estuary used 2,000 years ago by the Romans. The old village is attractive, but has no facilities for the residents other than a choice of excellent pubs. There are no shops, no buses. Thank goodness for Northern Rail's Cumbrian coastline offering an hourly service throughout the day. The spit of land facing us across the River Esk is the Eskmeals military firing range. Originally opened by Vickers Sons and Maxim of Barrow and Furness in 1897, it's now owned by the Ministry of Defence for testing heavy weapons and is definitely off limits to the general public. The crowds travelling on Ratty included many booked latecomers. The train was held up for so long waiting for them to arrive and board that I missed its departure and had to settle for a distant shot of it making its way alongside the River Mite before deciding to head for my train to Barrow. Tomorrow perhaps. Next day, driving back home by the coastal route, I stopped off at Ravenglass and was able to get a seat, travelling behind Northern Rock up the valley to Dalegarth. We can still see where the original railway ran beyond the present terminal towards the River Esk.
Having replenished her tender with water from the woollen beck, Northern Rock simmers gently in the platform at Delgarth Station while waiting for her return journey. The track from the station across the back to Dalegarth Cottages is a public right of way, the only part of the entire line to which pedestrians have legal access. Northern Rock cannot set out from Dalegarth until River Might and her train have arrived in the station and Ravenglass Control has given clearance for her departure.
As Northern Rock approaches the steep descent to Beckfoot Crossing, and I pack my gear and head back along the track to catch the next train to the shore, thanks for watching, and here's to the next time.